So our current work is really trying to focus on how we can use language a, a, as a learning tool. So we focus on trying to get kids to think about what's the best way for them to come to understand science and how we as a group, uh, researchers, teachers, parents, administrators can make the learning environment the best that we can possibly get. The SWH is, is around a question claims evidence structure. So kids will pose questions, gather data, generate evidence from that data and then make claims which are both publicly and privately negotiated. The, the individual components of the science writing heuristic aren't new. They're all research-based things like we've always activated prior knowledge. We've always found out what kids know. We've always used nonfiction text. But what this approach does is it puts it all together in a way that um, teaches that we, we need to help kids connect to what they know. We negotiate ideas and not people. It is an important and significant jump that we have to get kids to take. And once they get to that, then the richness of the debates are seen because there's no longer fear of being wrong or being picked on. We've actually got a classroom environment where the ideas are in the middle and the kids are actively debating those things. I feel like they have a deeper understanding of the science concepts now with the SWH approach versus before when it was, it felt a little more like memorization. This provides a way for true learning and not just regurgitation, but the kids really know these things. Then they see the, the power across curricular areas. It just makes all the kids on an even playing field and they're excited and they, they have confidence. They just love what they're learning and they own their learning. They do, they, they own it. So from a results perspective, we've closed achievement gaps. We did a, what was called a critical thinking test, uh, as, a, as a Cornell critical thinking test, and we were interested in looking at kids' rates of growth. So we would test the grade five students at the start of the school year and at the end of the school year would this approach accelerate the student's rate of growth? And the answer is, yes it does, in a significant way, statistically significant way. We've got stuff that we're doing in science that will transfer to their general critical thinking, which means we can teach them to be better thinkers, be part of their community, and to have more success as they go forward.